Unfolding the eternal excellences, the hidden insights of the truth and the depth of the riches of wisdom and knowledge. The Bible says, I have cleansed thee by the word. I have not pointed to your weaknesses. He says, I have cleansed thee by the word. I have pointed to your strength. And this is your strength, that I am Christ in you, the hope of glory. The glory of freedom, the glimpses into eternity. The gospel is not supposed to be an assumption. It's not supposed to be just a mere presupposition. Truth is older than language. But the word of God is way deeper than any human language. And now, Apostle Grace with the word. Father, we thank you. The entrance of thine word brings light. Give us understanding. Give us tonight, God. You anoint us. You take a after. You increase us. To to Gaziye. We do great things in our lives. We bless you because this day we are setting a course. We are setting a course. We are setting a course. We are setting a We are setting a course. 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 We are setting We are plunging into something new. We are We We are ready to see you. We are ready to experience you. In Jesus. Name. And those saints say. The theme scripture tonight. It is Isaiah 43. And verses 19. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. But because of what I want to touch tonight, and I believe we'll benefit both men and women here tonight, is I want to begin from the verse before the 18th verse. Praise the Lord Jesus. The Bible says, do not Honestly, the Amplified says, do not honestly remember the former things. It says, do not remember the former things. Neither consider the things of old. Praise the Lord Jesus. God says, remember not the former things. Neither consider the things of old. Somebody say amen. The 19th verse says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Oh, I will do a new thing. It shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in desert. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. Isaiah Isaiah has a certain scripture I want to read for us. Now, there was a time when men saw God. And they saw what God was going to do. In Isaiah 53 and verses 1. The Bible says, 53 verses 1. It says, who has believed our report? Who has believed our report? Who has believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant. And a root out of a dry ground. He has no form. 
when we see him there is no beauty that we should desire of him he is despised and rejected of men a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief and we hid as it were our faces from him he was despised and we esteemed him not praise the lord jesus amen the bible says surely he has bore our griefs carried our sorrows yet we did esteem him stricken, and smite and afflicted of god praise the lord jesus hallelujah amen and the bible says but he was wounded for our transgression he was bruised for iniquity the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we were healed somebody say amen I'm going to say very hard things but I'm going to speak in love because the bible says speaking the truth in love we might grow up in him in all things which is the head even christ somebody say amen amen if we don't speak truth in love we cannot grow up in him in all things God wants the church to grow up in him into him in all things yeah it's not just growing up in him but grow up into him in all things all things all things financially your wealth your, your health your relationship your ministry everything that we will grow up in, into him in all things the church of jesus has not grown as it ought to grow in certain parts of the world because we failed to reconcile the mystery of truth and love there are some which appear to speak in love but they are not speaking in love because they don't carry the revelation of love god is love and they that do not love do not know God. Love is not just the nature of God. It is the person of God. Do you understand what I'm saying? That is why the Bible tells us that when you grow up in the love of God, if you understand the length, the width, the length, the depth, the height of His love, the Bible says you will be filled with all the fullness of God. You're filled with all the fullness of God. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. You can never walk in the fullness of God until you understand the true revelation of God's love. Human love is different from God's love. Because human love is based on feeling and emotion. But the love of God is not based on feeling. It is based on the life of God and his revelation. Somebody say amen. That's a very deep thing. If you think about it. So when truth is spoken in love, we grow up into him. In all things. In Some people are too far from the life of God. 
And they do not know it. They don't even know it. You see, the Bible says we have a form of godliness. But we deny the very light. Of God. And that's why many people appear to be Christian in everything they do. Believers of the gospel. Believers of the gospel. But there is something, there is a light that is not demonstrated in this. Beyond just moral standards. You understand? You can have good morals, but there is a life of the spirit. The life of God. So it tells us in Ephesians, do not be uh, like the Gentiles. Because it's possible for you to be born again and you're like the Gentiles. It's possible for you to be born again but you act like the Gentiles. Your life is like the Gentiles. Your results are like the Gentiles. They are like the Gentiles. You eat like Gentiles. You sleep like Gentiles. You act like Gentiles. You build like Gentiles. You raise children like Gentiles. You pray, to, you come to church like Gentiles. You sit in church like a Gentile. You listen to the word of God like a Gentile. Am I making sense? Now, you you say, I testify in the Lord that you henceforth not walk as other Gentiles walk. In the vanity of their mind. Having the understanding darkened. Being alienated from the life of God Through the ignorance that is in them Because of the blindness of their heart I don't know if I'm making sense You must understand how the gospel works do you understand what I'm saying? I'm laboring because I'm going to go somewhere very deep. So I'm trying to scratch surface for some of you. Just that you don't lose me in the middle. If, if the beginning is complicated, then I'm worried for you in the middle. Are, are you hearing what I'm saying? So, there are people who are separated from the life of God. From the life of God. They believe God, but they are alienated from the life of God. There is just something about them that cannot demonstrate the life of God. It can't, it can't live the God kind of life. Let me tell you something. Edward Joe Church. Edward Joe Church brought the gospel. Edward Joe Church He went in Gahini. Yagenda Mugahini. Rwanda. Rwanda. And uh, he was a missionary doctor. But his main interest was really being a physician. He had not had an understanding that was going to be a very pivotal uh, entity in reviving East Africa. Edward Joe Church, he was working in Rwanda. And one time on a holiday, he comes through Uganda. He goes into central Kampala. He goes to Namirembe. The Anglican church then. And 
He met a lady called Mabel Enso. And then he met a man called Simeon Sivan. And these three people had a problem. Their problem was they were living in a situation where the church had been established people were praying people were fasting people were buried in church people were getting married in church the structures were rising up the church had built other institutions too like school they had built hospitals it looked alike. But these people started to feel that there was something dead. When you go to the book of Revelation, the Bible speaks of two kinds of churches. There is a church that has a reputation that it is alive. Yet it is dead. And there's a church that thinks that it is poor. Yet it is rich. Let's show that the church is studied. He says, this thing say he that has the seven spirits of God. And, and the seven stars. He says, I know thy works. That thou has a name that thou livest. You have a name that thou livest. Hey, you have a name that you live. Yet thou art dead. You can live in a situation and appear to be alive if you are dead and do all things people who are alive do yet you are dead the Bible says and you don't even know that you're dead because even dead men in the spirit can lead men which are dead I'm not talking about this church. I'm talking about the body of Christ. I'm talking about us who profess salvation. When we say, behold, I do a new thing. Somebody thinks we are talking about paying your rent. When we are talking about God doing a new thing, some of you think it's getting a house in Butaleja. When we are talking about doing a new thing, some of you think getting a husband and two children. Because many people are dead. They don't understand it. Somebody is in this room and they think their problem is money. Somebody is in this room and they think their problem is, is poverty. Their problem is not having children. Their problem is not getting married. Their problem is they fail to go to school. That is not your problem. Your problem is knowledge. You know the famous scripture, Hosea 4 and 6. My people are perished because of a lack of knowledge. We don't pay price to knowledge. Now, there is someone who needs this message more than me. But they don't even know it. You see, how can someone sit in this congregation and not even listen? Yet we pay the price to come. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not a poor man. 
I didn't come here because I want your money. I don't lack. I'm not a surviving preacher. You understand what I'm saying? I minister locally and abroad. And I'm not boasting. And I'm not boasting. I'm trying to show you something. There is somebody who needs this thing. And they are going to come at one. PM. But they need it more than me. That is dead. That is being dead. That Musumba That's dead man. You invested money in this. A lot of money. We don't know how much of investment. To help someone. They are not no. going to pay you because you help them. You see, they are just, you're just helping them. But someone can't even receive the help. Musumba, that is dead. Do you understand what I'm saying? Some people are so dead. Some people are so dead. It is so sad. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes, we ever see. When these three saw the problem in the nation, they, they realized that we can have a fog of godliness. But when we are dead, we can even praise God. But when we are dead, we can worship God. Yet dead. We can do many things. And those things pass for being saved. And we are dead. And salvation becomes a very heavy burden. That is why some of you from the time you became born again, you, you've Come from grass to grass. Not from glory to glory. Uh -uh. From grass to grass to grass to grass. To grass. To grass. From the time I got born again, things stand against me. You understand what I'm saying? Now, it's not whether God wants to do a new thing. No, mm -mm. it's Isaiah 53. Who shall believe our report? You're talking from here. And a man understands from here. And when you try to explain, he'll think you're abusing him. No, you're not abusing him. You're trying to make him understand. That there, there are things God has to do something for Uganda. If we have to leave a certain level and go into another level. The Spirit visited our land. And our fathers saw God. They left the story. They left something that we can look back on. But the challenge of the East African Revival, there was an issue on, on building the Christian. So Christian was being fed with meats of temporary circumstance. Yeah. So, say, the gospel will grow into. It was telling us what we are going to eat tomorrow. What we are going to put on tomorrow. As God was going to pay for us rent. As God was going to give us men we need. 
God was going to give the parent a seed. And he is going to restore your business. And the business have been restored. The parent have given birth. The sick have healed. We've cast out demons. Demons have left. And we thought that's deliverance. That is temporal. You having business. One day it will not be there. You're going to die. You're going to leave your children here. Even that husband of yours, either you're going to die before him or he's going to die before you. We don't know true freedom. He went to the children of Israel and he told them you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. They asked him, we are children of Abraham. Since when were we in bondage? The men saying that are not under their own rule. They are under Roman rule. But they learned to exist under the Roman rule. Serve the Romans. Speak their language. Absorb their culture. Until they form the certain nature of freedom. When a man is hard pressed. They start creating alternatives for true freedom. When they take a man to prison, he can start, some of you have been to prison, you understand. They can start telling you, start behaving well. Then we shall make you a what? A katikiro. And then these guys behave well. And they are made katikiros. Now, in there, in that prison, he also has a certain level of freedom. Because the he has where he goes. The common prisoner who cannot reach there. Where he comes And that particular is sometimes allowed to go out and come back. Because they know he cannot escape. Muntege. Are you getting me? But he is free at that level as a katikiro. In prison. Now you tell him that you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And he says, wait, I'm a katikiro. Are you getting And you tell me that you know that truth and you'll be released. He says, I'm not bound there. The katikiro sometimes put on their uniform. They give them trousers. Amen. Now, are you getting my point? Now, when we are talking to a prisoner that the Lord is going to set you free, the katikiro might say, but I'm a katikiro. So how can you say that you want to set me free? Am I making sense? Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes, we ever Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes, we ever Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes, we ever If you're apostolic, Bobangori Mutume, you have an apostolic nature. Oh, in Embala H. Tume. This does not become a constant. She not a chifu kachetago. It's a burden. Buba Mugugu. Because if you want to talk about bondage, our people have been so bound 
That now they've created alternatives of freedom. In their bondage. The testimonies of our altars. Already spell bondage. I, I hope some of you understand what I'm saying. Musumba tukena kuku crusade. The first time we've gone crusade. Demons leave people. Olina aruana na basa janga mukaga. The other one said to him. Six men, the other one unclothed, someone else. You see things living people. You find that same person after ya. Nga is the same. The only thing she grew fat and gave birth to a child, but he's the same person. I have a history. Of chasing them because I have that anointing. Even though I read it now, right now, some of you the gomeses may go off. I know that. I know that. Uh -huh. I'm not proud of it. But we chase demons. Up to now we have been. But we chase demons. The man comes back. Who had gone. And the woman remains as he was. He got a child who was married. And remains the same. Are you getting me? Someone who had no job gets a business. But remains the same. Do you understand what I'm saying? Amen. Same person. We make conferences. We leave those conferences. We come back next year. Same person. The way they were seated. The way they were thinking. The way they were talking. The way they were responding. The way they were shouting amen. Nothing changed on them. Nothing. Their skin stops to fit them. You understand? That means they just grew older. The spirit is the same. The mind is the same. The soul is the same. The soul. And those I am. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. And then we do another crusade. Then we do, then we do conferences in church. And again we come back the same day next year. And the same person is the same way we left them last year. They just said God. He tells them you will know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. And they tell him we are under no man. We are sons of Abraham. We are not under any bond. But the guys speaking have even failed to be a nation. They are you listening? God wants to take them out of bondage. And he takes them to the promised land. They enter the desert. They are in the desert. They are crying. We remember the food we ate in Egypt. Because the food in Egypt. It was freedom. We ate cucumbers. We ate squadia. We ate melon. Squadia melon. We ate onion. Squadia butungu. And garlic. Squadia garlic. We remember the fish. We ate fill in Egypt. Squadia mo because they think eating fish is freedom. Eating onions is freedom. Eating melon is freedom. Now when you tell that man that God is going to make you free, he will think God is telling him you're going to eat fish. Does that one understand what I'm talking about? Do you understand what being free is? Because when you think being free is buying a land title, you think that is freedom. 
living because you bought land somewhere. Now you Because now you have money and clothes. You have oh, the demon spirit that refused you to get married. Finally you've gotten married. Now you We don't know what true freedom is. So many Now we are saying behold we do a new thing. Do we know what new thing we really want to see? Oh, we are talking about a paint job on your house. Oh, we are talking about a new paint job. Oh, we are talking about a new paint Mukama ya gamba gena tu kolele chiki ya laba kamaru kaka ange Na fune moro kama nae mkonfres musumba wabudi lenjiri So gena ku freedom ya kukuna kamoto I do not talk about the freedom of getting a car I'm not gonna about the freedom of driving a nice car So gena ku dembe I'm not gonna about the freedom of building a nice house I didn't drive all the way to come and tell you about the freedom of getting a man I came to tell you about the freedom of being a child child of God. The life of the Spirit coming out of you and men looking at it and cars follow you. They are not your testimony. The cars are not your testimony. They are your followers. Listen, testimony are things ahead of you not the things that follow you some of you don't understand it my real testimony is not the car I have it is that thing ahead of me Christ. my ultimate testimony is the life of the spirit that attracts this thing. Not this thing. But the, the God of those things. That's our ultimate testimony. You, some of you don't know how bound. And even as a nation, men are. We don't know. I guess you for example. Go to Saudi Arabia. Genda Saudi Arabia. Muslim nation. United Arab Emirates. United Arab Emirates. I've been there. Go to Doha. I've been there. Go 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 all through. Genda yona. There are girls by the age of twenty. All of them are married. Aba wala ba abu abemia kabiri bonna ba afumbirwa mawanga gaba Islam. And they have covered their eyes and face. They you find them there like people. only eyes I think 20 years she's married but you have an tumbe that you show we have a problem pastor what gets a Muslim girl married. And a Christian girl believing. She's just believing the Lord. To come out for her. Look at how much money those guys have. Very rich guys. Very rich. 90% of the employees in the United Arab Emirates are foreigners. Arabs don't work. They get rich on foreigners. 
These other people in here who say me have gone to Dubai. They enter Dubai on sponsorship. You have to enter in Dubai by another Arab name. And you have to pay him every month to use his name. If you pay him a thousand dollars and he has five hundred of you. Five hundred. Five hundred. How much money is that a month? Okay, fifty of you. That's $50,000 a month. Yes, yes. How much is that a year? Yes, so that's 120. 1.2 million dollars, right? Now, if you're talking about 1.2 million dollars, multiply dollars. that into the currency of about 3,600 $3, $3, $1.2 million dollars. 4.4. So there is an Arab. Who gets 4.4 billion shillings? Afuna billion nya ne million bina. Eh? That is 1.2 million dollars. Is a million billi ne ne. 1.2 million dollars. 1.2 million ne 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 million billi. Million ne million million ne million ne dollar ne mitwala billi. Ne mitwala billi. Yeah. Okay. And he's not working. Ngate takola. They're just feeding on his name. Because the moment you use his name, you have to pay him. And the guy using the Arab's name is speaking in tongues. And then after he comes on the pulpit, and he says, I have a testimony. He cries first. I suffered. And God opened for me a door. And I went to Dubai. God has restored me. God has restored me. Woo! I'm never explain to me. I'm never going high five. Musumba. Pastor, I don't know whether there is anyone who understands me. <laughs> is that a testimony of a free man? Answer me, is that a testimony of a free man? Is he free because he earns $1.5 million? Yet he's working for a man who makes $1.2 million, $4.4 billion. And the man is working for is not working. And the man, this guy, is working every day. And he has a testimony. So you're starting to tell you you you, you want to help somebody understand that that is bondage right there. But you have made bondage appear like freedom. Because you have been bound for so long. You looked for alternatives. And those alternatives for you are freedom. Now, how can you tell such a man that God wants to take you to the level Above the Saudi Arabia. How will he believe you? How will he believe you? Am I making sense now? Is somebody following me? There are some who do not understand me, but there are some who do understand me. We did want to come to this conference. And come back another day. To come another year. And we are the same people. The conference is just a conference. Tell God in this conference. Something on my life. Must change. Gamba mukama, mukama na luno, 
Waliwe ni mugambe kakubula mungu wange. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes, we ever as well. So, I'm, I'm trying to explain some here. The children of Israel told Moses, We want to go back to Egypt. Where God struggled to take them out. They are praying to go back. Because they don't know freedom anymore. They were building Egyptian houses. For the Egyptian, they didn't carry anything back. They were working under an Egyptian economy. They were holding Egyptian currency. They were building, they were planting on Egyptian soil. Raising children on Egyptian land. Drinking Egyptian water. But time comes where freedom for them means if we can eat onions and garlic and watermelon freely, then we are free. No. We are free. I speak to that one when we to a conference, that when we gave the theme that God is making a new thing. You want to live here saying that I wasn't talking, but now I'm eating. About that kind of freedom. Because for the price of freedom, I've seen men who had food available and they refused to eat it. That is what brought revival in our land. Even, Even some rejected food because I mean seven. And this the testimony is eating that's what we are saying. I have not been eating. I have been sleeping. You don't know that we are sleeping hungry. We have money for food. You find yourself not eating. Not because you don't have food. But there is a better way. There are some people who are eating. When I saw God is eating. He said, he said, he said, he what is freedom? What is freedom? You will know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. What is freedom? So, Moses starts to fight with them in the wilderness. He goes up the mountain. They build graven images. Just a second. They've forgotten the God who separated water. There's a deception people have. But because they've seen power, therefore, they've understood. Let me tell you the children of Israel. God separated the water when there was there. He gave them man to eat. Musa went up the mountain. But they built their own idols after seeing that. And when you see that, you may say that what, what and now when God forces you, you have the same mind as those ones. You have the same thinking, but you don't know. That is bondage. The bondage there was a certain lack of knowledge. They didn't know the God who separated those seeds. They didn't know God who gave them manna. They did not know the God who got them out of Egypt. They didn't even understand that the wilderness was their first place of freedom. Now, we are preaching men out of the wilderness. 
But we are not leading them into the promise. Because we, they don't, even, we don't even know the promise. We preach men out of the wilderness and, and take them back to Egypt. Because we are, take, we are telling them out of the wilderness but we are giving them the testimony of Egypt. In Egypt they were eating. What was this when married? In Egypt they were having children. In Nazala. Yes. In Egypt they were having husbands and wives. They were healthy too. But we've come out of the wilderness. And preach men into Egypt. And they carry a form of godliness. But they start to compete for the things of this world. And the things of this world become the testimony. How many people stand on our and say thank God? Because last week I won ten souls. How many people stand on the pastor? Let's call testimonies and say. Those things must change. Those things must change. We are tired. We are tired. We are tired. We are tired. Amen. We are tired. They looked at us and they said stupid. that we are stupid. If you want to see stupid people, look at the born again. We don't want to 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 There's something, it's just, it's just not showing. There's something not coming out of us. How are they going to get born again? Or or <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tell your neighbor My God has to be seen. Tell your neighbor, my God has to appear. Turn to the other neighbor too and tell them, My God has to appear. My God has to appear. Praise the Lord. Amen. Am I making some sense? Now, if that guy, one time the husband gets a money with your business here, uh, and the money, with the money, he knows the business of this place. When, when the business goes through, business for it, um, and then you pay all your debts, then you come on Sunday. And if I have a testimony, no gamba ni no I had loans. <laughs> but the Lord has paid all my loans. But not God can pay your loans too. Now we come That's bondage. And it's your testimony. Hey. You get my point. Amen. And that person has a level of testimony to take. That is freedom. What do you think does God want to do? That is why when Isaiah meditated on the Christ, his problem was not the excitement to tell Christ. 
mbo okuchamuka kwa te kwali kubulira kuri his problem was who will deliver a report ekizibu ke chali nti anyana kiriza obubaka bwa our report anyana kiriza obubaka bwa why did you say tulaba because what we know ku singo yo cha subira is bigger than what someone is we tulaba the testimony is inge so tebai to obujuli amanyi ke tulaba kasinga amanyi ke bai ta amanyi obulamu we tulaba ku singo obulamu echi ke tebai to obulamu anyana kiriza obujuli zibwa kati azemu sim script na kugamba that i'm doing a new thing he has told us that he is doing a new thing it shall spring forth you shall know it when that thing comes i will make a way in the world because you are out of it you out of it kubanga mupo de misiri and that way in the wilderness ere kuba eri omudungu is to take you to the promise ere likutwala mu nsensu bize but while you're still in the desert nebo obera mudungu i will make rivers nja take amu amazi in desert mudungu creating a river in the desert okuteka wo e omugga mudungu is not paying rent sikusasula nyumba Do you know the things we put on our altars even men who don't know God have mbo omanye nti ebintu byetuteka ku bituti byafe na abantu abatalina katonda babirina ko juli ya moroka go juli eyo mutabaye omwana ate moroka ya mitwalo 10 ejja dola i saw a car in saudi arabia you 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 see emery a police car is 1 million dollars there are police cars which are 1 million dollars a police car moto ka ya police million dollars pick up ya police baba shonse ka wa aba police abeli e baba saudi arabia a guy is driving a a Porsche or a Lamborghini and is a police officer 1 million dollars o musiri kale weli avuge moto ka ya million dollar Atuina babu kabe mu ababu kuzivuga wane Kampala mbutuina mwa ne bagamba oyo maneti sambo laingira serena maneti moroka za basirikale mu Saudi Arabia na iya ingira sera tona gamba maneti wa wane Uganda ajivuga gwa muita abanene ne baze maneti wawo na kwataka na ko mulokole na kapaza kale mu kwaya wanogaye na kaka ngenda kuyamba aha Nikagenda you so cheap even money can buy you tuliba life in your sense is to gula alamu mukama ba 10 dembu avu some god has kept you in poverty if you get mama no way mama 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 even your humility is poverty no boy towaze bo bwavu yebuku ka the day you get money we are dead oluna ku roli funa sente to for day Olina kula kamoro kakava Japan second hand someone buys a car from Japan second hand nakavumira ka abantu and he abuses people because of the car musumba nakavumira ka abantu he abuses people hanya kulebe wacho kulebe yuko yuko oloza way tachi zeno ndi munene na nentambula nechuka lwati na naka second hand he changes the way he moves yamato yakasoka mu mhm sukitu yale kamono obuviribwe you understand <laughs> Amen. Why? Because they got a new car. <laughs> Amen. You see that Moroka yang. <laughs> Those are good things. Ebyo bintu birunji. But there's a testimony about that. Naye waliwo obujulizo obuli waguru webyo. Amen. Abazungu the white bagamba they say abatambudeke bwe rubakimanyi those who have moved out of abazungu no? abamu not some all some not, not all, all. sibona some white people abantu abero aba abamu not all sibona some arab people aba wala busibona not all sibona some asian people aba Asians, not all think feed baloza they think they think africans are stupid people mbaba abaduka futuli basiri not all some people na people na abamu they were stupid people 
bagamba tuli basiru and the only the only hope ere subiri okka for the african child eriyo mwana wo mudugavu is the gospel njiri there is no hope teri subi dalario no kujake njiri you go to europe ogenda europe and see how much development is there no la benkula akula nabo yenkana eriye because the gospel began there kubange njiri yatandikire what makes them is the gospel What made Israel? It was the gospel. What made America? It was the gospel. What made the British? Is the gospel. God has turned his eyes to Uganda. But while his eyes are on us, let us not forget to separate the pressures from the vine. Le katule mekwe yaula, ule katule mekwe era biro kwa ule byo muwendo kubija mbaka. The myths and the beneficial. Ebigasa ne bitagasa. What is important and what isn't? Ekigasa ne kitagasa. The things that must follow us and the things that we must follow. Ebintu ebiri no tugoberera na ebye byetu ino goberera. The calling that is general and the higher calling which is in Christ. Okuyitibwa okwa wamu no kuyitibwa okwa kuli wagulu mu Kristo. The responsibility for our people. Obuvunanyiswa bwa bantu baffe. The price that has to be paid because we believe. Omuwendo gwe tuino okusaba kubanga gwe tuino sasula kubanga twakiri. The endurance but for a moment in the wilderness because our hope is in the way that is going to be made there. Na yaka sera kubanga subiri ya feriri muye. But there is a way going to be made in there. Kubanga wali we kuba mukama lya gendo kola mawo. That will help us cross another place into the promise. Akina atuyamba okubuka atawala lo kuingira mu kusubira. Because the temptation that crossed the river from Egypt into the wilderness is different from the temptation that crossed the wilderness into the promise. Kubanga ekigezo ekyaso musabana ba Israeli okubajja mu Misri okuyingira mu dungu chanjaulo ne chaba jamu dungu okuyingira mu nsensu bisi when he was dealing with the egyptians we yali akolagana naba misiri he was dealing with an identity crisis yali akolagana ne an identity issue ne ne ngeri okwetegera mu chibali bali tebe manyi and that separating the waters okwa ulamazi was to make them know who they are yali ayagala bategere chibali in the wilderness mu dungu he trying to help them know who they are mu ayagala bategere chibali in him Moye but crossing nayo kusala into the promise okuyingira mu nsensu bizi he wanted to make them understand that there is a responsibility yayagala bategere nti waliwo obuvunanyizwa he wanted them to know their part yayagala bategere omutima gwe it's one thing to define identity kintu cha njaulo okunnyonyola choli yes without purpose awatali kirubirirwa because without purpose how do you know your path wobato ina kirubirirwa manyo tyo mugaso and if you're not talking about a path what kind of life of salvation are you living wobato yogera ku kitundu kyo bungeri kye yobloko zijolimu no sango omuntu nga yet muri mu president loni yagalo mwana wabo bunuma no mubuza what is your path in the gospel uh huh no you find somebody nga is thinking about money children marriage whatsoever you ask him what's your purpose in what's the gospel your part in the gospel kitundu chigwe cho imerera mo munjiri no buza abawereza mwanike mikono you ask ministers abantu 10 ne bawanika abantu abawereza others are not ministers they are coming to eat onion and melon and cucumber they come to eat mm. bajja kulya butungulu melon ne cucumber everybody has a part in the gospel Buli muntu aine kitundu mu njiri we are not just believing god to change the women of butia we are believing for a mighty move of the spirit tukiriza okutambula kwa moyo kwa mwanyi in this land do you understand what i'm saying otekera chengamba if there is a man right now waba wo mwami sawen with 400 million dollars on their account. Nga ina 400 million dollars kwa county. They are wasting it. They are drinking alcohol every day. Bazono na banywa mwenge buli. And there's another man right now believing God for 400 million dollars to build a church. Atenga waliwo msajjo mulala akiriza mu kama lwa 4 million dollars. And they can't change it. Na yenga tebasobola chuse. Something has to change. Ekintu walino kubawe chichuka. 
you understand what I'm saying? You can't look for a million dollars while someone is just spending it. Something, Something has, to, has change. to change. But the Lord spoke to me many years ago. God spoke to the reason why I have not believed anything as much as to the church. It is because many men have not understood neither even walking purpose. When you are in my purposes, I will bless you. When you are in the perfect will of God, you don't need to worry about money. You don't need to worry about cars. You don't need to worry about anything. Why is HIV in a third world country? Why is poverty in a third world country? Marriages are breaking in third world countries. Churches are struggling in third world countries. And we scream over freedom we don't even understand. Because we no longer even know true freedom. We were born in bondage and produced children in bondage. And generations were raised in bondage and, and they said to look at testimonies in bondage as testimonies. Behold, I do a new thing. It shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I'll make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. We drink it. 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 And he walks in them. They see him and he sings. And we learn to nations as he wrote. And we leave the books of the Israelites. Uh-uh. Mm. He's not talking about building a house in the in village, the but learning to nation. This gospel is for all believers. But not all will believe it. That's why Isaiah said, who shall believe our report? That's what Isaiah said, and he said, who shall believe our report? Something can start here in Busia. Something can start here. In Busia. And flip Uganda. Okay. And flip Kenya. And flip the Kenya. And flip the world. And flip the world. People who come me to preach abroad, let them look for us. Amen. 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 Let them look for us. May God visit our land again. May we see a God that we shall tell our children about. May we walk in a glory that our children will look at and say that our parents I know pastors whose children don't believe in God. Because as these children say to grow up, they say to shift. At least least and I told God that my children never deny you. Our children never deny you, Lord. Do something in our time that our children cannot deny our God. So that they admire to be evangelists. God praise the Lord. Amen. Our people to be saved when they say how to be saved. They stop 
feed people who don't have job. Let God do something in our time. Let us come and record chakola mu budde bwafe. But but our people will look back and say these guys walk with God and they do. Abantu batimule balabe bagambe nti abantu bano batambula ne kato. It's going to take a willingness. Well, but to take kuyayana. You're going to be available to God. Utoyaga kubera macho kam kama. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. But now I told God whatever it takes. Na yenza na gamba mukama sinsonga kitwala ki. Do whatever you want. Kola kyo nacho yagala. But I refuse to bear no more. Na yena gano kufanga omuntu wa bulijjo. I refuse to bear no more. Na gana ufanga omuntu wa bulijjo. What way you have to start? There's someone who is satisfied. Yeah, but the cup of milk and wine is done. Because he has prayed on himself a perfume of fifty thousand. And a shovel of with a less than hundred dollars. And that person is okay. There are some people who built churches. They've built cars and they are satisfied. There are some who have built and drove but they are not satisfied. Because every time we go on our knees. There is something that tells us it's not it. There is more. Why do I feel that way? And another man doesn't feel it. Simple. There is something God put in you. And that thing will never rest. Until it sees the goodness of the Lord in the land. Come, Let me tell you. We've seen God. We've seen them walk. We've seen the bright. There is someone who has chosen. We have seen God. We've have stood before tens of thousands. In Uganda, out of Uganda. I have seen power. I know what it is. That's a cold body. I know. But every time I go on my knees, I still have not yet that. What do you think? What do you think? And every day, every day, so we are in months, we are on the ninth month. It is coming out. What do you think? What do you want to get on the ninth month? What do you think? I come to speak to somebody today who feels like every day you're walking but there's a pregnancy in your spirit. You have seen God but there is more. You, you have seen power but there is more. You, you have experienced glory but you feel in your spirit. Edward George Edward sat down with the man. On Nami Rembeke's house. And they say, We are tired of seeing the church in the way. There is no. Those two men joined their hearts. And prayed. And the sweet spirit came upon them. And that was the beginning of the East African revival. Yeah, East African revival. It began by men seeing a higher freedom. 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 Well, there is a freedom which is higher than the one you are having now. Not until you see it, you not have that dream. If you see it, you have that dream. You, you're comfortable. comfortable. Because you've not seen it with a dream. You're comfortable because you're comfortable. But when you see a higher freedom, you'll become uncomfortable. Until you find it. Then you will be free. Then you will be free. He told us ask of nations. He didn't ask us to go just into nations. And be a slave. 
Christians cannot continue this way. If we continue this way, then we never learn anything. Praise the Lord Jesus. I want to pray with someone. Are you ready to pray? Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes, we have a Let's bring another
Because when men are planted, when men are planted or spoiled, they can only run to you, God. God, I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus that every pregnant soul in this room give birth in the name of Jesus. By reason of the apostolic call upon my life, I release you in the name of Jesus. Into purpose. Into call. Into glory. Into an anointing. Power of the Holy Ghost. Something is going to shine on your spirit. Receive it. Something is going to shine on your spirit. Something is going to shine on your spirit. The world will know. The world will know that the Lord called a woman. That the Lord called a man of God. In the name of Jesus. Something is being released on your life. I need answers. Receive it. 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 It is your time. It is your time. It is your time. It is your time. Nations are calling. 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 God you. 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 God separate you. God consecrate you. Whatever is burning inside you, let it come out. Let it come out. Let it come out. It's been long since you're hidden. You have to be visible. 
In the name of peace. 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 In the name of Jesus. 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 May God you. May God you. May God you. May God you, 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 may God raise you. In this nation, may God raise you. The pain was on the right. So you started to feel a swelling in your stomach on the right side. I command it out. In the name of Jesus. Cancer loose. The message you have just heard was brought to you by Senero Ministries International. For more information, contact us on telephone number 041-466-4291 or email us at senerocompala at gmail.com. You can also find us on the web at www.fenero.org. Or better still, feel free to join us every Thursday for our weekly fellowship at UMA Multipurpose Hall from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. You can also catch the live stream at livestream.com slash Fenero. Fenero. Make nonsense.